Your curiosity will disappear when you try this. And believe me, what I'm about to reveal isn't just another rumor mill churn. It's a deep dive into the tracks that are shaping the narrative. Stick around till the end, because we're unpacking the layers of these diss tracks to see just who really holds the crown in this high stakes rap feud. In today's video, we dive deep into the whirlwind of events that has gripped the music industry this past weekend. With Kendrick Lamar and Drake releasing back-to-back -back tracks, the stakes have never been higher in their ongoing feud, as each artist tries to outdo the other both lyrically and in public perception. But what really caught the eye and ears of fans and critics alike were the recent comments from Cameron and Mace on their show, which have tilted the scales in what was a very balanced tussle till now. Starting off, let's delve into the background that led to this pivotal moment. Initially, it appeared that Drake was leading the charge with his diss tracks, receiving wide acclaim for their clever wordplay and sharp delivery. However, the tables turned dramatically over the weekend. Kendrick Lamar, not one to be outdone, dropped Meet the Grams and Not Like Us, tracks that not only showcase his lyrical prowess, but also his strategic acumen and timing and style. The most intriguing part came from the analysis by Cameron and Mace. While they initially sided with Drake, citing his tracks were more impactful initially, their latest take following Kendrick's new releases paints a different picture. According to Cameron, Kendrick's tracks felt like a necessary escalation in their musical battle, with Not Like Us being particularly pivotal due to its club-friendly vibe that directly competes with the Drake's Family Matters. Now, let's dissect Meet the Grams and Not Like Us. The former, while solid, was perceived as less club-worthy compared to Drake's offerings. However, Kendrick's strategic shift to a more upbeat sound in Not Like Us seems to be a direct response to the playability of Drake's tracks in a nightlife setting. A crucial arena for hip-hop tracks. Cameron's enthusiasm about the track being played repeatedly in clubs indicates the significant impact it made, resonating with both fans and casual listeners. On the flip side, Drake's latest, The Heart Part 6, while lyrically dense, seemed to signal a retreat with its mellower tones and Drake's own lyrical confession of fatigue. This perceived white flag has stirred much debate about whether Drake is conceding the feud or simply taking a strategic pause. What does the shift mean for the feud? According to Mace, it's a demonstration of Kendrick's adaptability and tactical genius in the timing of his releases. By accelerating the intensity with Not Like Us, Kendrick has not only matched, but perhaps exceeded the expectations set by earlier diss tracks. As we peel back the layers of these releases, it becomes evident that this feud isn't just about the lyrics or beats. It's a chess match, with each artist carefully planning their next move in hopes of securing not just a win, but a knockout. However, with Cameron and Mace now leaning towards Kendrick as the current frontrunner, the pressure is undoubtedly mounting on Drake to respond. Can he bounce back with another hit that swings public opinion back in his favor? Or has Kendrick's double whammy tip the scales too far for Drake to recover. As this battle unfolds, the implications stretch far beyond their personal grievances. This feud is setting the tone for modern rap battles, highlighting a blend of strategic release timing, public relations maneuvers, and pure lyrical talent. In conclusion, the latest round of diss tracks and the expert commentary from seasoned artists like Cameron and Mace have not only intensified the feud, but have also painted a clearer picture of where each artist stands. As we look forward to the next developments, one thing is clear, the rap game will never be the same again. And that's a wrap on today's deep dive into the Kendrick versus Drake saga. If you love this breakdown, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and turn on post notifications to stay updated on all our latest releases. Got thoughts on who's winning this feud? Drop your opinions in the comments below. We love to hear what you think.